Rocco Kaywood from Army with a 2-0 lead as we put two minutes on the clock. Rocco Kaywood on the bottom now. Thomas Lane digging with his toes, making Kaywood carry all of his weight. Just pressing, pressing, pressing. Lane now trying to put a flanker in off the right side. And Kaywood coming off the edge of the mat. And they're off the mat. We're going to move back to the center, resume action. Rocco Kaywood, the number 12 seed from Army. His opponent, Thomas Lane, the number 21 seed from Cal Poly. And Mr. McCormick has Kaywood set at the center of the mat. He's moving Lane over to cover from the top. And here we go, 120 remaining. Second period. And Lane kind of hanging on to Kaywood's leg. I think he's going to have to improve his position here, or we're going to have a stalemate. Yeah, he gave him a warning. Got to improve your position. You're the offensive man. He did not do so. So a warning was given. This next warning will cost him a point. Rocco Kaywood in the down position or bottom position. Here we go again. Kaywood with a Granby roll. It's a thing of beauty when you see these guys at 197 pounds executing a beautiful Granby roll, I'll tell you. Kaywood trying to lift Lane's leg up. Lane's leg is wrapped around Kaywood, and Lane is hit with a stalling. And a little bit of a collision with the table here. I think we're okay. And we're headed back to the center of the mat. There was a stall warning on lane. And one point awarded to Kaywood. Lane trying to turn Kaywood. Kaywood now posting his legs out far to the side trying to prevent that. Kaywood pushing, excuse me, Lane pushing Kaywood's head down into the mat. And the second period expires. Kaywood with a 3-0 lead. We've got a 3-0 bounce. Third period about to begin, just ready to get underway. Rocco Kaywood from the Army with a 3-0 lead. Right now, Thomas Lane riding in the superior position. Mike McCormick watching the action closely, assisted by Scott Hall working the perimeter. Thomas Lane trying to figure what his next move is. He can't get the cradle hooked up. He's working on it. He's trying to get his hands together. Can't. I can see underneath from my position here. Just can touch fingertips, but can't get get the hands locked on the wrist. And so we've got a stalling call against Rocco Kaywood. That's Kaywood's first. The next one will cost him a point. And he's got the cradle now. Lane's got the cradle hooked up. 
Lane's heel was inbounds. Four points awarded to Lane on the near fall. What a smooth move. That was unbelievable. Lane knew exactly where he was, where his mat position was. He goes up one point. Plus riding time over Rocco K. Wood from West Point. Last 49 seconds of wrestling in this bout. Again, Lane looking for that cradle now. Pulling up on the left leg of K. Wood. Reaching back, pulling the leg. And we've got injury time for K. Wood, Rocco K. Wood. 120, uh, roughly, uh, I want to say about minute remaining. We'll wait till the injury clock goes off. Thomas Lane now in the driver's seat with respect to controlling the power. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we hope you're enjoying the bouts that we're watching and listening to this morning. NCAA Wrestling Championships Division One. This is the 2019 iteration. We're on the floor of the PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Blood time running on mat number one right now. On behalf of Rocco K. Wood from the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. 25 seconds of injury time remaining. Rocco Kaywood has, has a tough decision to make here. The question is, can he go another injury? We've got an injury. Seven seconds remaining. Kaywood has to just decide whether or not he's going to continue the bout. Twenty-six seconds remaining in the bout, so Kaywood's got to decide: can he go another twenty-six seconds, or is his leg is his left leg hurting him enough that he wants to stop? He says he's going to continue. One point is put on the board for Lane because of the match being stopped, and Lane goes back to that same left leg. Lane getting two points on the takedown. And our wrestlers go out of bounds. 14 seconds remaining. K. Woods holding his head saying, what am I doing? Anyway, last 14 seconds here. 197 pounds, about number 144. K. Wood with a Granby roll. Can't get it completed. Lane staying on top. As we go down the last six seconds of riding time, final score will be 8-3 with riding time in favor of Thomas Lane from Cal Poly. What a great effort by both wrestlers. Great, great effort. You're watching the NCAA Wrestling Championships.